Actually, the first time when I put the whole get up for uh, beta, the whole costume and the makeup, I actually like I saw myself in the mirror and I was so overwhelmed that you know I uh, I started talking to myself. It, it was like a self motivation talk, you know. You're the most beautiful person the way you are, and you don't need other people to you know to to validate it or to say it, say that to you. People also perceive Beta as uh, as a star, you know, and they treat her in a, in a certain way. But I know then it's still Pratik inside, so I feel okay. They're treating Pratik like that. Beta is the channel Pratik uses to, you know, express himself completely. If I wasn't doing Beta so often, no, I wouldn't have the courage to even talk about it. She's like a hot therapist. Who, who's a part-time uh, Vegas showgirl <laughs> and uh, she does like therapy in the morning and sh shows at night uh, and yeah I think I'm her uh, favorite uh, patient <laughs> and she has she always has time for me I was a feminine kid ever since and my childhood was fun, like uh, mixed, sad, uh, happy and adventurous. We used to climb the uh, guava trees and like disturb our neighbours and all. I used to wear my sister's velcro skirt and pretend that I'm in a cookery show. Growing up, I've always had a majority of female friends. Uh, yeah, we would all like dance around to these Bollywood numbers. Naturally, I mean, I, I would know all the feminine steps more than the masculine steps, but I would know all the steps. But even like in school days, uh, if I had majority of female friends, I would still be, you know, okay, I can date one of them, you know, something like that. I did not even think about sexuality at that time at all. I was confused about my sexuality for a very long time. I wasn't sure till the time I actually went out with a guy on a date. So there's uh, one thing that you're confused and there's one thing that you know about it and the other thing is that you know about it but you don't want to accept it. So that was a really like emotionally very, very draining for me because I was like, wait, I am this person but no, I don't want to be this person. You know, small things like I would stop going out with my college friends just for having tea. Uh, I would say that I'm completing my college work but I would just sit on my bed and think about this, you know. And then on top of that, getting towards a decision that was also like, oh, if I finally accept it, how am I going with it? Like, how, how do I come out to my friends? How do I tell my family how, you know, all of that thing just started to build up and it was really, you know, mentally exhausting for me. I came out to my mom first because she means the world, the world to me and I think that was the most difficult part for me. She, she reacted like pretty chill, she was cool. The only thing she said like, Haan, hai, hai, hai. after coming out to my mother and then coming out to my friends, uh, that's, after that is when drag started. So it was just all a build up to something really nice and beautiful. Ever since Bella was a little girl, she used to play with Barbie dolls and she used to think she's going to be one of the prettiest Barbies. And when I grew up, I realized the dream and I'm here. What is Pratik to you? He's like to a Bella. little brother maybe or... Yeah, I think he's a little brother. Little brother, huh? So, the kinds that you love or the kinds that you kick their ass? Of course I love him, but that doesn't mean I can't kick his ass. <laughs> is there Pratik inside you right now? Of course he is. What's he saying? He, he's sleeping right now. Don't wake him up. What's he going to say then? He'll, if you want to go home, he's tired and he's cranky, he'll go, he'll, he'll be like, let's go home, we've been working since the morning, blah, blah, blah. Don't wake him up. <laughs> you know, Pratik looks up to you. I know he does. It's not his fault. I mean, or maybe someone tell him not to. Not the best decision. Not the ideal role model. <laughs> Aren't you undervaluing yourself? I'm more than such just a role model, you know. 
What are you then? What is better? She's a star. She loves everything. Everyone loves her. She has no self-doubt. She's not anxious about things. Like, I know Pratik is anxious about this birthmark, but, I mean, here, yeah, better is not. So, a performance never bothers you? Ah, uh, no, it's just a piece of cake. I know when I go on stage, people are going to love me. They don't have any other choice. Whenever I'm uh, on stage as better, I completely forget all of the challenges that Pratik's, Pratik faces. Beta pushes Pratik a lot and every time I become better, the traits stay and it helps Pratik to, you know, be a better person. Performing for me is uh, life, I said, it, it's like a lifeline for me. I mean, the boost which I get while on stage as better is what really makes me like fearless. It's not just about taking off your clothes, it's about being on stage as well. At the end of the day, I'm still a man in a wig on stage. You can call me he, you can call me she, you can call me whatever. As long as you call me, you know, yeah, that's what Betta says. <laughs>